Hello, so I want to talk to you today about water and the management of water here at Cap House. So if I could just explain that there is two shafts. We have a shaft at the Cap House end of the site where the guides and the public travel. But just behind me there's also another mine shaft. And basically this is an old mine shaft what we use now to collect water just very similar to a well. It's important that we collect that water and we pump it out of the mine because if that did not happen there is potential for the museum to flood. So every day approximately 10 to 12 million gallons flows into the mine of which 80% of that would naturally flow to Woolley or into the old workings. So around 2 to 2.5 million gallons every day we need to pump out of the mine to ensure that the mine is kept safe and we keep it clear for public to be able to travel. So just behind me in this mine shaft there are two pumps. One pumps a thousand gallons of water every minute and the other one pumps 600 gallons of water every minute. So in a day we could potentially pump around 2.4 million gallons. We're pumping around 2 million gallons a day at the minute because we're under control with the water and that's the minimum or the maximum what we need to do so we have got scope to be able to alter the amount what we pump now because the water is rainwater or flow water what runs through the strata and through all the workings we do get something in the water what we call ochre or you will perhaps know it as iron ochre or commonly known as rust so as the water transfers through the strata all that rust is collected into the water so as you would see rain fall as clear by the time it gets into the mine and into the bottom of the shaft it becomes an orange colour so if we pump that water out of the mine and just let it flow straight into the river system we would be breaching the health and safety regulations in terms of what we're allowed to, um, to extract and permit into the river system so we talk about the iron or the rust within the water in milligrams per litre of water. So when we get to our final discharge, the amount what we're allowed to discharge into the water, and bear in mind I'm talking now 2 million gallons of water every day, it cannot exceed 3 milligrams per litre. As the water comes up this shaft, it will contain between 20 to 30 milligrams per litre. So between the raw mine water coming out and it going to discharge we have got to reduce it by something like 20 to 25 milligrams per litre of water there is a number of steps what we do to be able to do that but this is the most important thing at the minute is getting the water out of the mine getting it into our lagoons and then we can start the water treatment so as the water comes out of the mine and we're talking around 2 million gallons every day it comes over the top of this weir and the reason why it comes over the weir it allows it to go through these holes in this weir chamber it oxygenates the water and then that allows the iron within the water then to separate the iron then drops into the bottom of this pond this settling pond and the water what sits on the top then would naturally free flow it into some more settling ponds the water you can see will probably contain around 25 milligrams per litre of iron and you can see that from the orange colour by the time we go through the different elements of the roof before we get to discharge then we'll have it down to a value of 3 or less so after the water has left the lagoons it's passed through two lagoons and then it comes into these concrete settling pads so this is just another filtration area where the water comes in we allow the iron to drop to the floor again so that, that, so that we get another collection point then the water goes from these four settling ponds into the reed beds at this stage as the water comes in between 10 and 15 milligrams per litre of water after it leaves here we're probably talking down to 8 or 10 milligrams per litre of water so the reed beds then has the effect of reducing it to less than three. So these are the four concrete settling ponds, which again take some more ochre out, and then it goes down to where the reed beds are. 
So this is our final discharge point. So the two million gallons per day of water that we pump out of the mine all finishes up here. We have to clean it to allow it to go into the river system. So when it first came out of the mine at 20 milligrams per litre, we're now down to less than two, probably two to three milligrams per litre here. It looks clean. We've took all the nutrients out. We've took the iron filings out. We've done something different with that now. This is now allowed to go into the normal river course.